Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Paper Mario with a Thousand Year Door. And in our last episode, we started our adventure here on Rogue Ports. And in this episode, we're actually going to find our way through uh, looking for Professor Frankly. Coming over this way. Oops, put him in, sucker. Hey, what's your beef, pal? Yeah, I'm talking to you. Mario, gotta wake up. That guy just stole half of your coins. Hey, my coins. That's so lame. Ah, I hate this town. Yeah, maybe I should have bought stuff. Anyways, if you actually pay attention to this wall, you can that you can actually come back here. Yeah, I'm pulling another card trick today and makes tons of da da. Yeah. Where is this character? Hey, my name is Darkly. I like it dim places, and now I'm done talking for now. Okay. There are a few other secrets here and there all around this town. Coming into here, though. Pardon me. To power up your partner, talk to me from the other side of the table. Welcome to the home of Merlin, the super magician I foresaw your arrival. I can aid you if you wish. Which, with three shine sprites, I can power up your partners. Of course, that means I boost their attack power, but also throw them a new move for free. So, which partner would you like me to power up? Huh? You don't have enough shine sprites. Be gone. Come back with more. Yep, you can actually power up your partners. It's a bit different instead of actually just finding a block and then using it. You actually collect shine sprites and then bring them here. Anyways, we want to enter here. Oh, hi. There you are, Professor Frankly. What's up? Who's there? Who wants me? Ah, yes. You now you are. Uh, I've seen your face before. Yes, that face. Wait for it. Just a moment. Don't tell me now. Silence. I get it. It's r I'll get it, right? Um... It's not Gumbrail? Um, it's not in Zoom Eliza Eliza Goon? Hmm. <laughs> Aha, I've got it! You've you're Gabil Goombella, aren't you? Uh, you were in my archaeology class last year, am I right? Well, yes sir, that's me. I'm Gabella, Junior at you Goom. Goom go Goombas. Of course I remember you. Not to my to my own horn, but I'm remembering pretty good at remembering. Um You thought you'd stick out in my mind because you were such an ex exponential student. And this guy behind you is Who? <laughs> <coughs> Mario, Professor. He's Mario, you know, the famous one? Oh, my apologies. I'm such a bookworm. I haven't had a clue of about what's hip right now. In any case, what sort of errand brings you to all this way to a place like this? You were hoping to tell us about the legendary treasure said belonged in Morgports. I thought if anyone knew anything about it, you would, Professor Frankly. Of course I know about it. It's the reason I came here was to study in this very subject. But why do you tykes want to learn about the legendary treasure? You know that most say that it's a little more than a fairy tale, don't you? Archaeologists and historians have the search for the truth in those fairy tales, though. Me, yeah, I believe the legendary treasure truly does exist, and I really want to find it. Good point, and well made. In any case, I'll cooperate with you however I can. First of all, tell me of the treasure. There are many mysterious surrounding it. Some say it's an indentment vest treasure hoard, while others say it's a magical item. Some books say it's actually a monster, while others claim that it's an empty chest. So many different theories. Obviously, it's possible to divide the truth among them. But all agree on one point. To find the treasure, one must have the crystal stars. To find the uh, treasure of yore, take the seven crystal stars to the thousand-year door. 
You mean the crystal stars that the old say that the super elder people passed down? Indeed, the same. As the says, saying goes, if you want to find the legendary treasure, you must find first col must collect the seven crystal stars. Hold on, the magical mat of folds before the entrance to the thousand year door? The stars will light the way to lead the stones of yesterday. Yeah. A lot of lore I've read saying that it's a magical map to take into the doorway. Then it will show you where to find the crystal stars. Correct, and it is a thousand year door is supposedly here, deep beneath this town. Yet the critical piece of the puzzle, the magical map, is lost. If only we had that map. But we do have that map, Professor. Or, well, not we exactly. Mario has a magical map. What? Hummia, habada, hambada, hippity, habadi, humla, hufla, huala. Really? I find it funny I have easier time reading all that jibber jabber than most of all the words. You, you actually have it? Hear <coughs> my throat a bit. Could I just take a quick look at it, if you don't mind? Sure. Astounding! This is it! The real thing! The one and only magical map! You, son, are my hero! You're great! Fantastic! Wonderful, even! With this, we can find the crystal stars and I'm hol holding this for before the legendary door! Right on, Professor! Good golly, what are we doing here? S uh, just sitting there! Then, Bella, Mario! Off we must go! This instant! Let's make the, uh, Let's take this magical map to the legendary door! Sure. Adventure awaits us! I bet you didn't know that this rotten old thing came off, did you? Uh, we can use this pipe to get down under the city streets. Come on, both of you! Let's get moving! Oh wait, hang on a sec, Mario. There's something that just occurred to me. I'm fairly certain that there are quite a few hoodlums below, so um, keep your guard up. You two know about your reaction com action commands, don't you? Of course. Really? A master, are ya? Maybe you outright practice once that I'm fine. Hmm, positive shocking and so on. Um, apparently facing Gubella. First, we must we'll practice the jump command. Just wait, did I press the wrong button? No, oh, whatever. Dun, 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 dun! And now, this is the instance for B. See, you turn the foe's attack back on him. I mean, this that's a super guard. If you do a super card with B, you take no damage, and the damage of your enemy is returned. But it is stupidly hard to time. Like, stupid. No, not that button. How do I bring up the head again? Oh, it's Z. I'm going on health. Oh, look, save point. And now, this is the introduction of under rope part. Hey, hey man, what's up? Who's the hoodie you got there with ya? 
What's up, babe? Why don't you hang up with us for a while? We play real nice. Man, what a fine looking Goomba doing with the tubby mustache man like that. Oh, it, it, it is like so sweet that you boys think I'm cute. Seriously. Yeah, guys, like you make me feel all totally baffling. Now get out of our way. Oh, barfing. Ah. Why do I always have issue in regards to reading texts? Anyways. Ouch, that was cold. What? You're too good for us? Come off it, sister. Nobody zings us like that. Nobody. Let's get them. Now, I'm pretty sure there's going to be a tutorial fight too of some sort. Now, this is essentially giving out the basic mechanics of a uh, thing. Now, as you, s you can actually switch the position of where you attack uh, with the Y button. I'm gonna... Now, what I just did there was a stylish. This is something new to this game. It lets you do various other things. Um... Which we'll get into a bit later. It's specific timing with pressing the A button for various different things. Uh, with the jump attack, you press it in mid-air whenever you do a thing, so you're temporarily tapping it four times to get too stylish in a single thing. And with the hammer, it's right after you hit the hammer, I believe. Um, what else is there? Let's see if I can... Nope. I'm terrible at time. Wow. Now... A lot of stylish are pretty easy to time. I'm just getting all the enemies and everything. I'll show you the hammer one, I guess. It's pretty easy to time for the most part. Ow. Now, some enemies that can, like, jump and everything, like the Goombas, actually can hit uh, the back party member. But for the most part, the front party member will always be targeted initially if they don't have something like that. Now, Spike Goomba, pretty obvious that you actually have to use the hammer or else you will get hurt by jumping on. Wow, I'm doing pretty good with reaction commands. I'm gonna keep my mouth shut. <laughs> and that's how you do a mid-air stylist. It's just quickly pressing the button, but actually getting both of them off is a bit interesting. I'm gonna need a lot of practice. Owie! Ha! Later on, losers. That felt awesome! Are you ready, Mario? There are plenty more where all that came from, and they'll have all have it in for us. When they attack, try and hammer them or jump on them while they're in the field. That's considered a first strike like the first game. We can't go this way just yet. This platform has a significant use later. We'll get into that later. Coming over here, we got ourselves another level, lovely little pipe, if I can actually get onto it. Ah, oh, god damn it. Why do I always have to why do I have a, always have to do something when I'm trying to drink something? Damn it. But yeah, now that we're getting into like regular enemy battles, it's gonna go a lot quicker in regards to stuff. I'm like him telling us tutorials. Now something funny is that you can actually hammer power goombas. If we can get it times. Damn it. Come on, come on. Ugh. Telling stuff. <coughs> yeah. 
Now, enemies, when they are killed in the battle, they can have a chance of dropping various items. Uh, a rare item, which is usually like a mushroom or something like that, which is an actual hold item. Coins, which are very common, and then uncommon, which are hearts and flowers, which restore HP and FP, respectively. Now, that's our first item, actually. Damn it! Now, one thing I've noticed in regards to... Pip now, when you pick up a health thing, it gives one point to each character, which does make things pretty easy. Ooh, a fire flower. Now, there are a few different blocks. Those big ones I just smashed can be hit with that. There are various other ones which we can't deal with just yet, which I'm pretty sure there's one over here. Yeah, we can't actually deal with these yet, but right up here, up on that ledge, is a shine sprite. That's what you will look out for for getting upgrades. They always have one within like the first few things which you can't a access straight away, but you do realize it's there continuously until you get the power to actually get it. I want to chase it. Aha, finally a first strike. Now, unlike the first game, they let you use um, reaction commands in the beginning of battle instead of uh, instead of it just outright doing it. I think I don't know. I never actually got it to work in the first game, so Sp this is a Spinia. They have three HP, so essentially, yeah. They still give about the same thing. Oh, come on! Now, you can actually react to command at the beginning of the fight, too, which is funny. Oh, man, the jump attacks are going to be so much harder to actually do. At least you got the hammer one down. <laughs> wow. wow. The other one didn't even get finished time to actually do it. Anyways, that is a key, a black key if I recall, that lets us do stuff. Hitting this... makes a thing in the steer. Now, it's obvious that there is something behind this, but we don't have access to this until about halfway through the game, probably. Now, we want to get this black key first before actually heading on. Now, coming all the way over here, we find ourselves a black chest. Whoa. Hey, you. Can you hear me? Ken, that must mean you're the hero of legend. Me? Only the great hero of legend can hear my voice. Yeah, everyone else, nothing. <coughs> See, long ago, an evil spirit cast a curse on me, locking me in this box. I was bummed. I've been here ever since, waiting a long, long time for a hero to come by. So yeah, anyways, big guy... What brings you a hero like you to a place like this? Uh, Mara, a word with you? I'm not exactly confident that we could trust this box. I think it may be it may be the best not to mention when we're looking for the crystal stars. Well, drat. I had to say it out loud. What's wrong with me? Many of things. Oh yeah? Searching for the crystal stars, are you now? So you really are a hero. Well, you're definitely going to need my help if you hope to get those bad boys. So first you should look for uh, the key to this box, then use it. Uh, let me out, definitely. By the way, the key looks like this, which I already have. Well, what do you think we got to do, Mario? 
Well, I know my vote goes for finding the key, and I'm sure it's around here somewhere. Come on, bring stuck in boxes. No panic. I'm counting on you, a great legendary hero. Now, despite of how bad it might be to trust some random voice from a box, <coughs> let's actually open it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You brought the key. Yes. Oh, man. I owe you big. Black key. Yes. Th I hadn't think nothing. Yee hee. Fools. Oh boy, did you fall for it? I burned you. What? You think I was gonna help you? Instead, I'm gonna spread a little of suffering I've endured in that stupid box. Yeah, sorry, but those are breaks. I'm gonna cast an evil, terrible curse upon you. Boogadoo, woogly, ooh. You're cursed! Yee hee hee hee, enjoy the curse, sucker. You got what you deserve. You want to hear all about the sweet curse I just dropped? Then listen well. <coughs> From now on, whenever you press Y in a certain area, you can turn into a paper airplane. Hee hee hee, terrible, uh, trembling yet. Suffer and rest your days under my terrible curse. Yee hee hee. Oh, I can't help but crawl. You're doomed. The curse is pretty rough. I guess I suppose I owe you it to you f to explain it. Yeah, essentially you stand on these, press Y, <coughs> turn in an airplane. And I pretty much just <laughs> press the thing. Because I was skipping. Yeah, I get it. It's terrible. You can press speed to cancel it. I was getting tired of that voice in a sense. And he just disappears. So, uh, wow, just wow. What was that guy's beef? <laughs> yeah. Now, these, whenever you see one, is a curse panel in a sense. I think these specific are only for airplanes. Now, whenever you want to go up in a sense, you always want to press back on whatever direction you're facing. <laughs> you can get really good at it. In fact, they actually had this... Oh, this area. Oh, Mario Gumbella, look at that! It's the Thousand Year Door spoken in legend. I can't believe it's real. So the legends are true. There it is. Pick his life. Come, let's move closer. Next time on Paper Mario and the Thousand Year Door, we will examine this door of a thousand years. See you guys next time.